Damn, Valve really reacted fast for the Genesis collection. But then there's a little item fix here, more map scripting stuff, which is good to see, and sub tick improvements, which I decided to test myself right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24 seven. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. All right, let's quickly run down the skins news. They basically opened up Belgium, the Netherlands, and France to the sealed Genesis terminal. Belgium and the Netherlands banned loot boxes a while back and France restricts them. So this basically confirms that Valve are using the Genesis system as a loophole. Surprise, surprise. It's even more clear when they call players customers to show they're buying skins, not gambling with cases. Then they also fixed a lot of errors for users with Steam wallet funds and multiple different currencies around the world. Damn, I've never seen Valve work so fast before. This really must be top priority. Shadow Daggers must have had a bad day until now because the name tag and stat track modules have been fixed in today's update. But under that, we see map scripting patch notes related to the last update where Valve introduced a JavaScript based scripting system for map makers, which is honestly pretty good news. And the patch notes clearly show some improvements along the way. Then speaking of improvements, we get to the sub tick patch notes. So basically real time key presses should give more consistent speed gains no matter how the frame or tick was split. At least that's what I can tell from this patch note. So I decided to test it. Now I want to be very clear and say that I am no expert and the way I tested it is probably or is definitely not the best way, but I think I was able to conclude that there is in fact an improvement. At least it aligns with what Valve is saying, which we shouldn't forget. I ran offline on Nuke, snapped to the same starting position using set pos values with get pos. My mouse macro pressed D 15 times. Each tap was held for 100 milliseconds, then released with fixed gaps between the taps. After the last release, I waited a second and logged the final position with get pos. I did that 30 times before the patch and 30 times two times in a row, so a total of 60 post update. The short answer is when I group only the runs that finish in the same small Y range, I call them bands, the end positions are tighter after today's update, which to me lines up with Valve's improved time step independence. But take my words with a grain of salt. As I said, I'm no expert, but according to my testing, there are improvements. Now, would you be able to tell in game? As a casual, probably no. And again, this is more about consistency, not speed, it's not going to feel faster. But I mean, if you're a movement freak or someone who actively plays the game, maybe in KZ or something like that, then you might feel an improvement. But I'll take it. It's an improvement, even if it's small. I just hope we get more of those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.